previously on Master Chef Junior. Oranges. The young home cooks faced a juicy elimination test. That looks really good indeed. Malia. Beautiful. Thank you. Well done. And Ben found victory to be sweet. This is a master class in a gorgeous dessert. But things went sour. They're all bait. What a shame. For Tallulah and Mateo. Please keep your head up high. Tonight. Are you all ready to get messy? <laughs> When the competition Switch. shifts into high gear, you gotta move, let's go. the top 16 face a sticky situation. No. Then, it's a Gordon Ramsay master class. We have to replicate Gordon Ramsay sliders. This is going to be really hard. in my grandma's kitchen back in San Antonio, Texas. And now I am in the top 16 of MasterChef Junior. And I am not stopping here. Gordon, I hope you got that trophy waiting for me. Welcome back, everyone, to the greatest kitchen in America. We're here to find the next MasterChef Junior. So to do that, we're going to throw some epic challenges your way. And that includes... This huge one tonight. You're going to be making a dessert that, like Gordon, has origins in England. Now it has become popular in America. It is, of course, trifle in all its glory. Oh, oh my God. Growing up, trifle was a family tradition for me. It was served at every holidays, every Sunday lunch, at Mum's house. A trifle is made with several layers. There's sponge cake on the bottom, then creamy pudding, then there's crunchy graham crackers, mashed fruit, whipped cream, and to top it all off, beautiful fresh fruits. And tonight, it's your next team challenge. So for this challenge, you're going to be split into three teams of five. In your teams, you're going to need to master all five layers of trifle. And the entire winning team tonight will get a huge advantage in the next challenge. Right, are you ready to find out your teams? Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. As delicious as this incredible giant trifle looks, all of you will have to dig into this trifle and pull out a token like this. What? Oh, my gosh. All right, are you all ready to get messy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on in. The team challenge because I love to get messy, so I'm so excited to do this challenge. I'm excited to be competing in a team challenge because I'm really good at mashing stuff, I'm really good at crushing stuff, I'm really good at whooping stuff. So, this is actually a pretty good challenge to be in. Now, if your token is green, you're in the green team. If your token is yellow, that's right, you're in the yellow team. And if you're holding a red token, then of course you're on the red team. There's also one golden token. Who's the lucky home cook who... Matthew, that is a VIP token, which gets you a pass straight up to the balcony. Whoa! <laughs> Head on up there. Well done, Matthew. I'm on the top of the world because I'm automatically top 14. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> now, please take your white aprons off. Go to the area that your color team is and put those colored aprons on. I'm pretty excited that I'm on the green team because we have Evie and I and we were both team captains at the last team challenge. And we're also vocal, so we have a lot of leadership and I think that will definitely help us win this challenge. All right, on the green team, we have Reed, Ben, Che, Evie, and of course, Jayla. And then on the yellow team, we have Aaron, Malia, Kate, 
Jaden, and then of course we have Nayeli. And on the red team, we have Kyle, Brielle, Sadie, Ivy, and Rashad. Please head to your stations. Now, your stations have been divided into five zones. One of the zones is at the end for the expediter. When you are the expediter, you are responsible for quality control. And as a team, your goal is to make as many stunning trifles as you can in 20 minutes. Remember to pay attention to every detail, because only the best will count for your final tally. This is going to be difficult. <coughs> this is the switch. Whoa! When you hear this sound, That means that you have to switch zone. But that's not all. I'm going to warn you, at some point, you're going to hear this sound. After that, it's an absolute free-for-all. All competitors can abandon stations and jump in wherever necessary. Right, your 20 minutes starts. Now, let's go. Hi, guys. Get to work. I'll do a whip cream. I'll do a whip cream. All right, people. Just go, 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 yeah, go. Yeah, you need to get it to whip. Okay. Remember to put some powdered sugar in it. All right, guys. Three teams of five competing in this trifle challenge. Now, they have to work as a team, but they don't know when you're going to pull that switch and when they're going to need to switch zones. This is really a testament of finesse and teamwork. Make sure you don't over whip it, Kate. I still like cream. Kate, add some more powdered sugar. The secret to a great trifle is if you can distinguish all the layers. One can't be fallen into another. Yeah. They have to be very linear and very clear. Absolutely. Those cake rounds need to be cut out perfectly and placed in the bottom. You guys have to be very delicate with the cakes. That pudding needs to be piped in with a piping bag, a perfect even layer. Great piping, Evie. The graham cracker crumbs crushed by hand. That beautiful mashed fruit, a different color per team. Whipped cream that needs to be whipped beautifully, that nice medium firm peak. Do it the highest it can go, Trey. Whoever is running that expediting zone needs to be loud, communicative, and really controlling things. Kyle, don't over with it. Almost like the cops at the end of the boat where he's steering their ship to success. Slow and steady wins the race. Make sure it's quality, not just quantity. Let's switch this up a bit, shall we? Yeah. yeah. Switch! Switch, switch, Let's go! Put more cakes in the thing. Oh, they're delicate. Come on, guys. For the green team is to communicate, make sure we get everything done, and work as a team really well so that everybody stays on the same page. Amy, try to get as many as you can. Kyle, mash only the ones that are big. Got it, got it. Okay, mash some graham crackers. We got this. Because we're probably going to make mistakes. So, might as well just move really quickly. Rip cream's almost done, guys. Rip cream's almost done. Make sure it's even layers, guys. Even layers. Switch! Switch! Come on, hurry. Ben, take this. Come on, guys. Let's go! I'll try not to get it, like, up the side. Got it. Our strategy is to be slow and easy. We have to make sure every layer measure the exact same. We gotta make the world's perfect trifles ever. Now we can focus on the green crackers. Smush, baby, smush, 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 get by. Switch. Come on, guys. Go. Ah! The yellow team, what's impressive to me about them is that half of their trifle cups are full. Speed it up, Malia! Come on, guys! But the green team, I mean, they're still whipping cream. By now, you should have the cream whipped, okay? Absolutely. They're way behind right now. Great! Try and hold the mixer, like, straight up! Now, yeah. red team, they're gonna have to speed up. Yep. They're not finishing the trifles. Do it slow, Kyle! Slow and steady with three! It's a free throw! Let's go! Right now, 
anymore in the free for all. Who's going to step up and guide their team to success? Assembly line, guys. Assembly line structure. Zidi, are you doing cutting? I'm cutting. Okay. Now the red team, Kyle, is really stepping up. Don't play that badly, guys. We need to be taller. That's well, it's fine. For goodness sake. The green team is arguing more than they're actually yeah. communicating. Come on. They are not getting it together. The yellow team is remaining rather silent, which concerns me. Yellow team! Talk to each other! Come on! Guys, we need whipped cream on these! Whipped cream coming! There you go, yellow team! Look how many yellow teams are doing! Come on, guys! Last two minutes! Come on! Guys, garnish! Garnish! Yeah. Give me the finish one! One minute to go! Speed up, guys! This is the most important minute of your life. You just need to get him on the plane! Finish up! Fantastic work. But now it's time for Gordon, Christine, and myself to count those beautiful trifles and figure out which is the winning team. I feel like Yellow and us have the same amount of trifles. I love the layers of this. Amazing. Mm -hmm. It comes down to who has the neatest one. I don't even know if there's graham cracker in that one. Who's planting that? Yeah. I think our chances of winning are pretty high. I'm feeling really nervous because I'm looking at the other two teams and we look pretty even. Look at the piping, it's velvety. It could be anybody's game right now. That's a little paltry right there, my friend. But there's no cream on that. But I'm hoping for the best here. The green team, I think we did really well. We're pretty consistent with the whipped cream piping. Textbook. Peach. I'm just worried. Well, this last one doesn't have garnish. That we don't have enough of them. That maybe we were a little too slow and steady. Green, yellow, and red team, we have counted all the trifles, and we have rendered a decision on who is the winner. Please, everyone, come down to the front. Oh. I'm nervous. I'm so nervous. Because if we lose, we have to compete in the elimination challenge. All of you, climb in, please. Let's go. All right, guys. If your team gets covered in pudding, that means that you did not make a sufficient amount of beautifully constructed trifles. Who's feeling brave here? Yeah! Green team, your hands went up really fast, so we're going to give you the honors of pulling your green rope. All right, green team, here we go. Uno, dos, tres. All right, green team, here we go. Uno. Green team, you did not win the trifle challenge. You guys made the least amount of perfect trifles with just 27. Red team, yellow team, you both made a total of 33 trifles. However, not all of them were good enough to count. It's time to find out who had the most acceptable trifles. Okay, red team, on the count of three. One. Two, three. <laughs> Red team, you have won the trifle challenge. You made 31 perfect trifles. Well done. Yellow team, I think you know what this means. On the count of three. One, two, three. 
Now, yellow team, do you know how many perfect trifles you got? Red team got 31. And you got 30 perfect trifles. Red team, congratulations. Enjoy your win, clean, fair and square. Now, I'm not as nice as Christina. Listen, what a mess! Come on, guys. How many times have I told you to work nice and tidy? Right, very carefully, we're going to step out here. We're going through those doors all together. Let's go. Let's go get cleaned up. Time to get cleaned up. I mean, was that fun or what, Aaron? Fun! Guys are brushed up, nice and clean. Why the smoking? I'm not too frustrated to be my second elimination challenge because I get a cup. Whoa! And I get another chance to prove the judges that I'm a really good chef. Wow, that's more like it. Y'all cleaned up pretty nice. Red team, because you made the most perfect trifles tonight, you are safe from elimination tonight. Congratulations! As a special treat. I made a bunch of trifles for you to enjoy while you're up on the safety of the balcony. Yes! Head up to the balcony with Matthew. Yeah! Thank you! I am so happy to be safe in the balcony because that means I'm safe from elimination and I'm not going back to Georgia yet. And Christina Tozy made us a dessert. I look good. That's high in bragging rights. <laughs> Now, unfortunately, the bad news. We'll have to say goodbye to at least two of you this evening. Tonight, you've all got a very tough challenge ahead of you. You're going to have to make one of my personal favourites. But first, I'm going to demonstrate how to make it. Now, it's an American classic. And something that I have an entire restaurant dedicated to. Sliders. And on this plate, there's an amazing meat slider, a beautiful seafood slider, and, of course, a beloved veggie slider. And tonight, you'll each be making three sliders of your choice. Yay! But the good news is, right now, I'm going to demonstrate on how to make three different sliders that I love. Okay, all of you, please watch. I'm going to do a tuna slider, a beef slider, and a delicious portobello mushroom slider. First things first, piping hot grill. Why? Because you want to get grill marks. That's right. No colour, no? Flavour! Season from there. A little bit of oil, and beef goes on. Piping hot. That's the noise we want to hear, OK? From there, get your egg wash and brush over the tuna. So as when we dip it in to the sesame seed, we encrust the tuna. Next, on to your grill. From there, once the mushrooms have been marinated, get those on the grill. And we start cooking. Yay! Fire! Just gently lift the burger over. Same with the tuna. And then again. Ooh, those look really good. Now, the cheese. For the beef cider, we have cheddar cheese. Manchego goes in between the mushroom. My roasted red pepper on top of the mushroom. From there, off comes the beef cider. Number one, tuna number two, and then finally, portobello mushrooms. From there, we start to stack. Beef cider, a little mustard aioli. From there, tomato, lettuce, crispy bacon, caramelized onions on top. The beef, on, and then look, a little garnish. Boom. This so good. 
slider number two. Slow first, and then from there, our marinated cucumber. Tuna goes on, and then our beautiful top. Yum. And then finally, for our portobello, on the bottom we got Romanesco sauce. A little touch of arugula, and then very carefully on goes the mushroom. And boom. It looks so good. Wow. And that's how you make a meat slider, a seafood slider, and a veggie slider. Like a true master chef. Thank you. Tonight, your task is to make three of one type of slider. Excited? Yes, chef! Right, all of you, head to your stations. Let's go. I love sliders. I've eaten about 40 billion sliders in my lifetime. And... I'm really excited to make these. I have a perfect trick of my sleeve. All right, home cooks, you'll have 45 minutes to make us three identical sliders. You'll find every ingredient you could possibly want to make a gorgeous slider over there in the equipment room. To stay in this competition, your sliders have to be immaculate. Everybody ready? Yes, yes! Your 45 minutes. Start. Now, come on. Okay, All right, home cooks, make us three identical sliders. Everybody ready? Yes. Yeah. Your forty-five minutes. Start. Now, come on. Let's go, guys. Slime, slime, slime. Can I see turkey? Can I have some ground turkey? Oh, yeah. Okay, reach the chest. Gordon, I have to say, this has got to be the perfect night for you. This night is all of your favorite things. Trifles, sliders, yep. the thing you dominate yep. in restaurants. Yep, you have to do right. I orchestrated this particular challenge because getting to nail the perfect slider, they step up a level yeah. because following that is the perfect gourmet burger. I would either eat bean burger or seafood. Sliders, one, two, bite wonders, but they must pack a punch and they must look gorgeous. With a slider, it's a blank canvas, so many different directions you can take, but there's also not many places that you can hide from it. The imperfections will stand out. Guys, five minutes gone, 40 minutes remaining. How many times do you cook burgers a week? About once or twice a week because my sister really likes burgers and I'm usually the one who cooks them. Tell me about the slider. What are you doing? Uh, I am doing a beef burger stuffed with cheddar with a spicy Thousand Island dressing and a bacon weave. If you were to leave tonight, how upsetting would it be? First of all, I'm not leaving because I'm pretty confident because I make these burgers a lot. Right. So I just think it would be pretty easy to still put them in mini form, I guess. Gotcha. They smell delicious. Thank I love you. the idea. Good luck. Thank you. Good job. That grill is hot. It's not going to take that long to cook. Good job. My eight-year-old from Georgia. Yes, ma'am. You make a lot of sliders? Yes, ma'am. Good Lord. Are those look like burgers, not sliders. They shrink. Feel that. How many pounds? Whoa. What do you got up in there? What is I that, have 
my bacon friend. with some soy sauce and Worcestershire. They're my own recipe, so I'll call them Southern State Sliders. I like that. All right, All right. Reed, keep your eye on it. Make sure it's the most delicious slider we've ever had. See you. Good luck. Hey. Hello. Tell me about the burger. What kind of burger are you making? Crab cake burger. A crab cake burger. That's that one. And a garlic and chive aioli. So, why crab cake? I, I crab all the time. I go to the Jersey Shore. I, I went to crab with my dad and my brothers. So, I think that that might be one of the reasons why I just feel a little familiar with it. Right. I love the idea. What's the bait that you use for crab? We use chicken a couple of times, which works. Seriously? It really, it really works. So chicken with crab? They, they take, really? Yeah, no, it, it works wow. the best. Good luck. Ben. Well, so, 11 years old from New Jersey. Yes. You big sliders guy? Yes, I sometimes make sliders for my family. So what do you got? Mom, dad? Yes, and, and three brothers. And you make four? Yeah. Wow. So you're used to this volume. Yeah. But it also gets you prepared for your future life in food, I hope, right? Yes. So what is that food dream? Ocean Cafe. Ocean Cafe. And it's going to be in France or Florida. And also, I want it to be on the ocean since the ocean is my favorite place. All right, well, I see a couple of things that lead me to believe that you are a fan of the ocean. I am making deep fried oyster sliders. And instead of using breadcrumbs, I'm using potato chips so it's more crunchy. Wow. Now, a great fried oyster is heaven. But a fried oyster that is over fried, where the yeah. coating's not stuck on, that is really where your jeopardy is tonight, okay? Mm -hmm. Good uh, luck. Thank you. Guys, 18 minutes to go. Right, young man, how are you feeling? Good. Tell me about the slider, what are you doing? I am doing a turkey slider. Wow. With grilled pineapple and a sweet Thai chili mayo. Pineapple and... turkey burger. Yeah. I, I've had enough of pineapples on pizzas, but pineapple on a turkey burger? Really? Yes. Where did you see that before? Nowhere. I just thought That's of... why. Stop there. That's why. <gasps> a pineapple turkey burger nightmare, because we don't do it. Pineapple turkey burger. Yeah. I, I've had enough of pineapples on pizzas, but pineapple on a turkey burger? Yes. Where did you see that before? Nowhere. I just thought That's of... why. Stop there. That's why. <gasps> A pineapple turkey burger nightmare, because we don't do it. Every time I go and visit my family in Hawaii, we love sauces and yes. delicious grilled things. And we know pineapple can go really good with turkey. And so I just wanted to incorporate it into my... Slider today. Now, young man, turkey burger sounds complicated, but remember, it's very lean, so there's hardly no fat in there. Good luck. Thank you, Chef. You can do this. We still have 10 minutes to go. Bacon weed is done. Oh, wow. Nayeli, ¿cómo estás? Bien. So, nine years old from San Antonio, Texas. Are you a fan of sliders, young lady? Yes. My mom and I usually cook them together. So what do you got going on right here? I'm making ground beef sliders with caramelized onions and a cilantro mayonnaise sauce. So, Nayeli, you have so many different flavors going on on your station. You've got some light brown sugar. Yes. And that's, that's that great. is some intenso brie cheese. Well, I really want to give it a lot of flavor, and brie cheese is very good. I am trying to make a fancy burger that speaks to who I am. Wow. Has to be elegant and finesse, okay? Thank you. All right, get out of here, Nayeli. I'm going to open. We're down to five minutes to go. Start thinking about assembling these. Let's just say a little prayer that these are at 135. Oh, I never cut these ones. They're at 135! Wow, there's some incredible sliders in the works out there tonight. Now, Ben, young man from New Jersey, is making us a fried oyster slider. Wow. He's crusty oysters with some potato chip that he's ground down. Love it. I mean, I think the idea of Ben's burger is very edgy. Can he pull it off? We will see. I gotta take them out and let them, like, chill for a minute. Evie, she's doing her beef burger with cheddar in the center. Ooh. This girl knows what she's doing. They're done. 
We're worried about Nayeli. She's got these golf balls of ground beef. She seems a little all over the place, and I just don't know that Nayeli gets the composition of a great slider yeah. from a flavor no, standpoint. Yeah. It's slider time. Guys, I'm seriously worried about Jaden. He's doing a turkey pineapple slider. Mm. But here's the thing, turkey burgers, one of the most dangerous. There's no fat in there, very lean. And he's grilling this pineapple to do it Hawaiian style. Uh, it's, it is wrong from top to bottom. Yeah. But why not do pork and pineapple? Uh, yeah, turkey and pineapple doesn't quite make sense. Now, I'm just a little worried about Jaden. I am so. Woo! 60 seconds to go, guys. Come on. Oh, my gosh. Come on. Speed up, guys. Let's make sure they look beautiful, you guys. Everything should be on the board. Guys, get it together. Woo! Here we go. Ten. Done. Now, we are looking for three identical sliders. It's time for the most important part to see how they taste. First up, let's take a look at Ben's, please. Let's go. I've made oysters once in a cooking class when I was in Spain, but I'm a little nervous because I've never made one that's deep fried in potato chips. But if the inside of my burger tastes as good as the outside looks, and I definitely got this. They look incredible. Describe your sliders, please. For you, I have made fried oyster sliders, deep fried in potato chips with coleslaw and a mayonnaise sauce. You know, any average 10, 11 year old will be running for the hills with an oyster. Why oyster? I really like oyster and I wanted to do something different and take a little risk. And I wanted to do something that I want on my menu at my restaurant. You see, here's the fascinating thing about you. You sound like me. You cook like me. You look like me. What's your surname, Ben Ramsey? No. <laughs> Young man, they look incredible. How long do you cook the oysters for? Um, till golden brown, about like two to three minutes. Ben, wow, it is absolutely phenomenal. It's got flavor, creativity. I love the fact that you've toasted the bun so it's all nice and crispy there. But the most important thing is you are edgy. It's restaurant quality. It's America's master chef potential. Remember that. Great Thank job, you. well done. Wow. This tasting couldn't have gone any better. Gordon Ramsay loved my dish. No bad comments, and every risk I'm taking is paying off. This is so amazing. The next home-cooked sliders that we would love to taste, please come up, Che. I have never made a crab cake before, but I'm very proud to present this dish in front of the judges. It represents family time, taking trips to the beach, catching crabs, all of that, and I really hope that that shows in my dish. Che, what do we have here? I have a crab cake slider with an avocado spread and a garlic chai aioli. For me, crab should be sweet, it should be succulent, and it should be front and center. Do you think that you accomplished that with the mix of your crab cake? I think so. I put them in the blender and blend it all together so it can get all, all mixed in. Blender? Why would you do that? I wanted to incorporate everything. Yeah, but I want to be able to taste crab and see it. If you pureed it, it could be any fish. It could be orange roughy, you know what I mean? Uh -huh. I'm just not feeling too confident about the way that you described the mix, to be very honest. A crab cake should be plentiful of crab meat. <laughs> okay, let's see. So, Jay, I'm gonna give it to you straight, and I'm gonna give it to you real. Okay, I'm gonna give it to you straight and I'm gonna give it to you real. This is really challenging to get through, it's dry. I can't distinguish what kind of seafood it is. So it could be fish, it could be crab, it could be scallop. I think you had all the components in order to make it delicious. I just think by pureeing it, you did yourself a disservice. 
all the other choices that you made on the slider were awesome. So avocado, love it. The romaine, well seasoned. Just the star of your dish needed a lot of help, okay? Good job, young man. Next up, Niley, please. Let's go. I grew a lot in Texas, so I know how to cook burgers, but I feel really mad about my sliders because my meat looks like a meatball. Describe your sliders, please. I made a beef slider with brie cheese, caramelized onions, and arugula. Now, you know it was a slider challenge, not a meatball, right? because they look a little bit like meatballs. How did you cook these sliders? I grilled them, and then I finished them in the oven. Mm -hmm. And what sauce did you use? I did mayonnaise and cilantro. Mm -hmm. So as you can see, when they're really white like that inside, they're a little bit overcooked. You put them in the oven for how long? About five minutes. When you make a slider that's round, it's very hard to color it. So over here, unfortunately, the meat just goes gray, but uh, they're beautifully seasoned. They're just, unfortunately, not very well cooked. However, well done for trying very hard. Thank you. Thank you. Good job, I Always stay positive, okay? Next up is Malia. I am obsessed with shrimp, but I've never heard of a shrimp burger. I've never eaten a shrimp burger, but I know. It's going to be amazing. What kind of sliders did you make tonight? I made lime shrimp sliders with a slaw and a lime aioli. How did you cook it? I put it on the grill, then I finished it in the oven. The flavor is spot on. Your lime aioli with that garlic is coating all of it, but they feel a little puny. Yeah. I want more shrimp, but darn, is that shrimp delicious. Thank you. Thank you. Next up, Mr. Reed. Reed, describe your burger. I have made you my southern state slider with my secret sauce and bacon. Back home in Georgia, me and my dad would grill a lot, and I learned how to cook a perfect slider. Mm, here's the deal. They're kind of big, they're hefty, and the burger needs to cook a little bit more. But the flavor of the burger, wonderful. And I love the combination, how all-American this burger is. Cheese, tomato, creamy dressing, great job. Thank you, Chef. Next up, please. Aaron, let's go. Right, Aaron, describe the sliders. The sliders, they have tomatoes, cheese, and a sauce, which is made from mayonnaise, garlic salt, and a little bit of lemon. Well, what you've got right is the seasoning. Beautiful blend. Great sear on the slider. Just be careful with the sizes. Two out of three are beautifully done. One's a little bit awkward, but the flavor's there. Well done. Thank you. Good job, Aaron. Next up, please. Jaden. I feel really good because I put myself and my Hawaiian family on a plate. But my patties look really messy, so I hope the judges are happy with everything else. What kind of sliders did you make? I made turkey sliders with grilled pineapple and sweet Thai chili mayo. So these burgers look like they've been chewed up by a dog. What happened there? So I made them too big, and so I had to cut them off. Right here, you are really bordering the line of what? Rawness. Yeah. Let me see if I can take a nibble off the side of one of the rest of these. Jaden, things that impress me, that is a gorgeous toasted bun. I think that your sweet chili aioli is actually really smart. Grilled pineapple, like that, but unfortunately the star of the slider is meant to be that turkey. And unfortunately, that is the most underwhelming part of your sliders. Turkey is tricky in a slider. It's super lean, and so it needs a lot of flavor to help hold it up. Thank you, Chef. Thank you. Last up, Evie, make your way down. Thank you. The challenge was to put three sliders on the plate. 
I only got two. I'm so worried. I can only pray that cheese pours out and my flavors pull me through. Okay, Evie. So, young lady, what happened? Because let's deal with the elephant in the room. There's a big gap at the end of your paddle. What happened? I was trying to put together my last ladder. I was really close to putting the toothpick in and getting on the plate, but then I ran out of time right. and... Describe the burgers, please. A cheddar cheese stuffed burger with caramelized onions, candied bacon, and grilled tomatoes, and some butter lettuce. Let's get it in there, shall we? Why cheddar cheese inside the burger? I love cheddar cheese, and I don't want to just put cheese on top of the burger, because, like, that's boring. I want to see that cheddar cheese in the middle. Evie. Evie, I want to see that cheddar cheese in the middle. Oh, dear. You did it. What is that scream in there? Delicious. Delicious. Come on. Evie, look yeah. at that. Mmm. Oh, man. They are delicious. Rich, gooey in the middle with that cheddar cheese, onions caramelized. I mean, really delicious. I have a burger restaurant, but do you know what I'm going to do next? Hmm. I'm going to take that burger with that cheese in there and develop something exciting based on your creation. And if it works, you can have a raw tea. OK? Great job. Thank you. Delicious. Good job, so you did, like, such a great job, Evie. Even though I only had two burgers on my board, my tasting went so well. Oh, my God. Can all of our home cooks on the balcony please make your way down here and find a station? So this is house. Um... Not a lot of 11-year-olds can say that Gordon Ramsay liked their burgers and would put a version of this on his menu. My family back in Atlanta would be so proud. Well done. Tonight we saw some amazing dishes that delivered beyond MasterChef Junior standards. But the... Best dish of the night. Congratulations goes to... Ben. Well done, Ben! Good job, Ben! But, unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to some of you. If I say your name, please join us at the front. Jaden. Nayeli. And finally, Che. So, Jaden, Nayeli, Che, all of your sliders did have some positive points in them. But tonight, your sliders just weren't quite at MasterChef level. So, two of you will be leaving us this evening. That means one of you will be returning to their station. The young home cook that did just enough to squeak by is... Che. Please head back to your station. Oh, Nayeli, Jaden, what a journey. Unfortunately, Jaden, you know, turkey sliders are one of the most ambitious, but one of the most difficult to pull off. You know they were slightly undercooked in the centre, but I admire you tonight, young man, for your tenacity. Nayeli, you know, I'm hoping you understood the difference between a meatball and a slider, and unfortunately, you know they were way overcooked. But heads up high, you are leaving much better chefs. Remember that, right? Thank you so much. Thank you, Chef. Good night. Good night, guys. Thank you. I will miss this kitchen very much. You did good night, Ellie. But even though I am eliminated, I am still happy because I learned so much, and I still know that my food dream will come true. 
and I will go to Paris and have my own bakery and have them all around the world. Thank you so much, Jamie. You've been my best friend. I'm only 12, and I'm finishing in the top 16 of MasterChef Junior. Bye. I've changed a lot. Bye, guys. Bye. My confidence has really grown. As soon as I get back to San Antonio, I'm going to show my Grammy everything I've learned. Next time. <laughs> oh, I'm feeling some type of bird. The top four teams. Aron is making it look so easy. Oh, my God. Look at that. This is just amazing. Get their ducks <laughs> in a row. This is a tough bird to get right. Who's the best one? And then. Wow! You're so great. It's a challenge. It tastes as gorgeous as it looks. With a fairy tale ending. Flavor's there. You've nailed it. One potato, two potato.